I got to clean up the gasket surfaces here. We got the uh, old hard ass gasket on the base. And we got our decks up here. These are fairly clean and even, but I got a couple different style scrapers here that I use. So I got a regular hand scraper here, which is uh, you can buy these auto parts store and stuff like that. Uh, this one's, uh, I forget the name of it, but American made one. So these are made out of hardened, well, not real hard, semi hard steel, not super hard. And I got a polishing stone, or not a, a grinding stone here. It's a machinist thing. And I take this and I hit this on here and keep it nice and sharp. So these are pretty much flat on the one side, and then you got your angle over here, which is roughly about 45 degree angle. If you look at it, I don't know if it's in focus or not, but hopefully it is. So I just kind of run it across here every now and then and make sure it's flat. So that buffs up our surface here a little bit. And then on the back side to make sure there's no scrapes, we just run it flat on the bottom here a little bit. Give it just a very slight upward angle, about five degree. And then make sure there's no burrs here, because this side goes against your, that's sharp. This side goes against your, uh, whatever you're cutting your case or your sewing your head. So you don't want any burrs on here to scratch your surface, but you want to cut on this side. And the way you cut on this is you come in with one corner and kind of rotate it back and forth as you're pushing really hard up and on down and forward and you kind of do that like that so you'll see how I do that the other one is is a super scraper here it comes from from Goodson Tool and Supply it's a solid carbide tip on this thing so it's very uh, sharp very hard doesn't doesn't nick very easily but if you drop it it breaks if you run in the bolt you'll you'll chip it so I never use this one for initial scraping this thing actually doesn't work worth a squat for scraping gaskets I use this one to get the gaskets off and then the residue that's left it's really hard to want to come off you come off of this and it scrapes it right down to bare metal and it'll actually scrape the metal away too because it's hit so hard so there's basically two different ways of doing things so this one here the head gasket surface is already off I mean already gone but basically you run this across at an angle somewhere in this area here depending on which comfort for you you just go along like this and you make sure everything's clean. This one's already clean, so this is what we got off, a little residue. And you come by with your good scraper and you just go back and forth all the way across the surfaces and this will cut anything else that's there. It will get it off. If you got a really hard spot that it won't clean, this will get it off. And you can see what this takes off. Whoop, get ready to view. And it takes off real fine stuff. So those are the two different ones I use. So let's go ahead and cut the hard side which is the side over here the gasket. Now you can see how there's a little bit of gasket removed right here. Let me blow this up even further. So the gasket's missing right here. So I just come in like this. So you do that hard edge. You want to make sure that you try to cut the whole gasket off. And usually I just pivot with my thumb right here and I push with the one corner and I kind of push down on the one side like that real hard on the contact point and pull back just a little bit so you can see better. And you just take off a little piece at a time like that. And you can tell hard that's coming off. So it's on there pretty darn hard. Now if you use those grinding flap wheels, all they do is tear up the surfaces and make them very unflat. They'll leak like a sieve. Plus all that grinding grit you got to get out of your motor will destroy your new motor. So, so you go back with this and you knock off what you can of the gasket, the excess. And then when you get thinner you can just come by with the one side. Kind of work it a little bit. See how that goes right to bare metal there. Like I said, the key is the wiggling back and forth. It kind of gives you a sawing action on it. Like I said, you can do it that way. You can come by with your thumb and go this way. On the thicker areas, it works better to use the thumbs, I find. And then over here, you just get back to a single spot. 
you always want to make sure you don't have anything in there where your hand's going to hit it when you slip. Because you are going to slip off. You are pushing hard. And the other problem is you want to make sure these holes, when you get to a hole, get back in view, you don't want to dig into the hole and cut the corner away. So you try to cover the whole hole as you do it. Okay, we got the big stuff off, but there's still gasket material on there. So this is where you come by with your, your carbide one. Back in view, you see it. You want to try to hold this flat, because it will dig into the corners and cut away metal. See how it just comes off in little slivers. Okay. So when you're done, you can see what it looks like. You can actually see how it's cutting the metal away right here. So let me get back in view. You see how it's shining right through here? You can see how it's actually physically cutting the metal away. I'm trying to get that where you can see it better camera to focus in on it. So, so anyway, it does cut the top of the machine marks off on the metal. Even though it's a steel cylinder, it does get that. And the gasket scraper right here. Pull this back so the focus will work better. So you can see how this surface here it takes off this little fine particle, but the scraper stays sharp. You just want to make sure you don't go directly in the cylinder like that because that will chip it. You always want to go along the edges and to have room for the cutter to pop off and not hit something hard. You definitely got to be careful around stud holes like on shovel head rocker box. It does on the head gasket surfaces. So anyway, that's how you do the cylinder.